Good day, students. Welcome to MatWithServe.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over the segment addition postulate. All right, so the instructions for the problems that we're going to be doing is to solve for the variable x, okay? So let's say we have, um, for number one, segment um, AB, for example. So segment AB. And let's say we have a point somewhere um, in the middle, in between these two points, um, point C. So let's say um, this set portion right here is 2x plus 13, and this is x plus 12, and the entire segment is 10 units long. Okay, so how can we solve for x using the segment addition postulate? So the segment addition postulate just basically states that we have a segment, let's say AB, but the point C is somewhere in, in within the segment, then AC plus CB is going to be equal to the length of the entire segment, okay? So using the segment addition postulate, we can write down the statement AC plus CB is equal to what? AB, all right? Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a substitution, actually three substitutions. AC is 2X plus 13. That's what AB is, I mean AC, and then CB is X plus 12. And then AB represents the length of the entire segment, which is 10 units long. All right, so you write down the segment of this postulate um, as it applies to this given scenario. We carry out the substitution. Now we're going to go ahead and solve for x, okay? So now we're going to be using our algebra skills to solve this uh, multi-step equation. If you look on the left side, there are multiple terms there, so we're going to start off by combining like terms. 2x and x are first degree variables in terms of x, so they are considered like terms. We're going to be combining these two by adding the coefficients, okay? For the x component, the coefficient is 1. So 2x plus 1x just involves adding 2 and 1 and just carrying the variable along with it. So that's 3x. We have two constants on the left side, 13 and 12. If you combine those two, that yields 25 equals 10. All right, so we have um, successfully uh, simplified the left side as much as possible. Now our goal is to get x isolated, all right? So we're going to get rid of the constant first, the 25, and then the coefficient of x, which is 3. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's subtract 25 from both sides. And we have 3x equals. Now we, are, we have two numbers that we're combining, uh, different signs. So we're going to subtract. So 25 minus 10 minus 25, or 25 minus 10. Subtract, you get 15. And then you keep the sign of the bigger one, which is negative. All right? To finish it up, we'll divide both sides by 3. Divide by 3, divide by 3. And that gives us an x value of 15 over 3 as 5. But since your signs are different, we'll retain that negative sign that was existing in the numerator here. Okay? So our answer for number 1 is x equals negative 5. All right, let's try another example, example number 2. Now, let's say we have segment um, df this time, okay? Segment df. And then in segment df, we have a point in the segment, um, point E. Let's say DE is 3x plus 3. And the portion EF is 3x minus 2. And let's say that the entire segment DF is 13 units long. Okay? So we're still solving for um, x, just as we did in a problem number one. Okay, so now let's apply the segment addition postulate to this scenario. If we apply the segment addition postulate to this scenario, what kind of relationship can we write? We can say DE plus EF, D 
DE, this portion of the segment, plus EF, the right portion of the segment, equals the length of the entire segment, DF. Okay? Now we're going to carry out the substitution, actually three substitutions. The portion DE of segment DF measures 3x plus 3 units long, plus EF is 3x minus 2, and DF, the length of the entire segment, is 13 units long. Okay, now after writing out the segment addition postulate, carrying out your substitution, we are now going to solve this resulting multi-step algebraic equation for x. Okay, all right, so first thing we're going to do on the left side, we have multiple terms that we can um, simplify by combining like terms. So 3x and 3x are like terms, first degree variables in terms of x. We just add the coefficients, 3 plus 3, 6x. And then we have constants that we can combine. Positive 3 and minus 2 are the constants on the left side, like terms that can be combined to yield, subtract, and keep the sign of the bigger. So uh, 3 minus 2 is just positive 1 equals 13. All right? Now, after simplifying the left side of the equation, we're going to get x isolated. This is going to be a two-step process. We're going to subtract 1 from both sides and divide by 6, okay? So I'll subtract 1, um, that gives this straw line here. 6x equals 12, positive 12. And then to finish off, just simply divide both sides by the coefficient of 6x, which is 6. And that yields x equals positive 2. Okay? So that is the value of x. All right, let's take a look at uh, question number 3. This one is going to be slightly different than the other two that we did. Uh, let's say we have segment PQR. PQR. And um, PQ is 9 units long, QR is X plus 1, and the entire segment is um, 2X plus 3 units long, okay? So let's say uh, for this problem, you're to find QR, okay? Um, this is different from the previous ones we did because in those ones, we're just looking for the value of x to satisfy the given um, conditions, given situation. But in this case, we're actually finding the length of a portion of the segment, namely uh, qr, okay? All right, so what we're going to do first is <clears throat> apply the segment addition postulate to this scenario, substitute find x, and then use that to find qr. Okay, all right, so if we apply the segment addition postulate to this situation, we'll have the equation PQ plus QR equals PR. All right, now let's do some substituting. PQ, that portion of the entire segment is 90 minutes long. QR is the length represented by the expression X plus 1, and then PR is 2X plus 3. Okay, now we've carried out our substitution. Let's go ahead and simplify the left side of our equation. We have two constants that can be combined to yield x, 9 plus 1 is 10, equals 2x plus 3. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to collect like terms, one of the variables on the right and the constants to the left, okay? I'm moving the variables to the right because I like to move it to the side where we have a bigger positive variable term, but it doesn't really matter, okay? So I'm going to start by moving x to the left. Remember, you have an imaginary one there that you can fit, and we're going to have 10 equals 2x minus 1 is just x plus 3, and then you subtract 3 from both sides. And after subtracting 3 from both sides, you have x equals 7. All right? Now, is this our final answer? Is 
x equals 7 our final answer, then the answer to that question is no. Remember, we're not asked to solve for x, okay? This is a common mistake many students make, is that they stop at intermediate solutions. This is known as an intermediate solution. The final answer is the length of um, QR, the portion of the entire segment PR, okay? Okay, so based on this um, segment, what is the length of QR? QR is x plus 1 units long. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to substitute the answer we got. We're going to substitute 7 for x in this equation. Okay, substitute um, 7 <clears throat> for x. Okay, when we carry out the substitution, we're going to have QR is equal to 7 plus 1. And that gives us a final answer. QR is equal to 8 units long. Okay. So um, that's, this is the final answer to question number three. Okay, now let's take a look at um, question number four, slightly more complicated. In this one, let's say we have segment um, DG, okay? Segment DG, and let's say we have um, points E and F in there somewhere. So we have E right here, and then we had F. And uh, let's see, we are to find the length of DE, okay? That uh, portion within the entire segment DG. And let's say DE is X plus 10, EF is two units long, FG is X plus 12, and let's say the entire segment is x plus 20 units long, okay? Now, um, this is going to be an extension of the segment addition postulate, okay? Now we have the segment broken up into three parts. So we can just sum up the three individual parts to get the length of the entire piece, okay? So if we apply the segment addition postulate and extend it to this scenario, what we'll have is the individual parts of the segments, DE plus EF plus FG, is going to be equal to the length of the entire segment, DG. Okay? All right. So after writing down the segment addition postulates, um, as it applies to the scenario that you're working with, we're now going to carry out four substitutions. Okay, so DE is going to be X plus 10. EF is going to be two units long. And FG is going to be X plus 12. All right, that's what you get by substituting the three parts of segment DG into the left side of your equation. And then the entire segment is X plus 20 units long. All right, now we're going to flex our algebraic muscles in simplifying the left side of this equation so that we can isolate x um, for this multi-step equation with variables on both sides. Now, let's say ID um, like terms to be combined. x and x are first-degree variables in terms of x, so we can combine them. We have a 1 here and a 1 here. So just add the coefficients, and that yields 2x. And we have... One, two, three constants. So 10 plus 2 plus 12, 12 plus 12, that yields uh, 24. And the right side is already simplified. We'll leave it as x plus 20. Okay, now we're going to collect like terms. We want the variables on the left side and the constants on the right, okay? So let's start out by subtracting x from both sides. Imagine as though we have a 1 here, okay, 1, 1. On the left side, when we combine it, we will end up with, uh, what do we get? Um, X plus 24 equals 20. And then to get X isolated, we subtract 24 from both sides. And then when we carry out that combination, we have um, x equals 
negative four. Okay. Now question, is this our final result? The answer is no. If you look back to the original question, we were asked to find DE and we have just found X, okay? So in order for us to finish this problem off to figure out the length of um, DE, we're going to carry out a substitution. First of all, what is DE? DE is the portion of the entire segment, um, that has length x plus 10, okay? So what we're going to do is we're gonna substitute negative four for x in this equation right here. All right, so DE is going to be, instead of um, x plus 10, is going to be negative four plus 10, okay? And then DE, Negative four plus 10, you just subtract, keep the sign of the bigger one, is going to be positive six. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the final answer for question number four. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of geometry, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable and supportive to us. Any questions or comments about what we just covered, just place it in the comment section below and uh, we'll be more than glad to uh, support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on math.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.